I'm not trying to sell you this product, but I'm gonna let you know why I've chosen laminate flooring over any other flooring. This product is so hard wearing, it's virtually scratch proof. Admittedly, I still do put those little pads under the legs of furniture, but I'm not gentle and my kids aren't gentle. And after three years, the laminate flooring in the rest of the house is still perfect. There's no scratches on it. So laminate flooring is really easy to install. You need minimal tools and you'll be able to do this at home, ending up with a really good looking floor. So this particular brand we're using Formica. Um, it's cost us $22 per square meter. So it's very cost effective. And if you install it properly, as the manufacturers recommend, they'll warranty this product for 30 years for residential use. That's pretty good. There's so many options as far as colors, uh, grain type, plank size, finishes, whether it's matte or gloss, that you'll find something that you like the look of for your house. Another benefit that I've found with the laminate floor is it doesn't trap dust and spills like carpet does. So for my daughter Frankie and I, we have allergies, hay fever, this product's a lot easier to keep clean. So the house is dust free. It's biodegradable, unlike vinyl floor, what's it called? The one downside that I've noticed about laminate flooring, however, is it doesn't like wet areas. Don't mop, it doesn't like water. It's high density fiberboard with a plastic coating. So I wouldn't install it in my bathroom or around a kitchen that's gonna see a lot of water spill or around an external door where you might be getting high, you know, wet traffic. For the 30 year warranty that Formica offer on this product, it's not designed to get wet. I'd be inclined to use a vinyl plank or a tile in that instance. So that's a pretty good lifespan for a flooring prop. Flooring product. Flooring product. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and I appreciate that. Thanks for the support. If there's anything I've missed or anything you want me to elaborate on, any questions you've got, just pop them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Join me as I do other projects around the home, like these ones. All right, I'll see you next time.